You want you want short track racing? You got it. You want all out crashes? You got it. You want door handle to door handle, bumper to bumper excitement? You got it. And where's and where's it all at? Well, the location for stop number 24 of the Casual GTX Cup Series, Bristol Motor Speedway. And the, here, the lights are on and the air is electric here. We're running in today's Bush, uh, tonight's Bush 500 as we are set for 75 laps of, ac laps of action on this .5, 33 mile racetrack and the most popular short track on the NASCAR circuit. On the pole for this event here today, it is Jessica Shelton, car number 9, the Coors Melling Ford winner this season at Richmond. She'll be alongside the Talladega winner this season, the first Talladega winner, I should say, this season, Matt McIntyre, the number 18 Interstate Barrier Chevrolet. Second row sees Cole Beaver in car three, the GM Grimmett Chevrolet, two one of the two-time winners this season so far. One of the few two-time winners, I should say. He'll be alongside car number 24. Charles Sabers still yet to win a race this season, but we'll see if tonight, tonight today he can do so. Going to the third row has the only three-time winner this season. It is Zach Rogers. Number 33, the Skull Bandit Buick. He'll be alongside Kyle Matthews, winner of the season at Sonoma, the Meliella Pontiac. Here's Zach and Kyle both have in-car cameras in today's event, by the way, too. Going to the fourth row, we'll see Keith Batson in car 20, Texaco Haviland Ford, two-time winner of the season. He'll be alongside R.J. Bishop, a good qualifying member for him in the 27 Kodiak Pontiac. Next row down has Ryan Brommer in car number 94, and beside him will be number 47, Nathan Hudson. Next row down, we'll see car 71, Kev Shear, the Bucks of Oldsmobile. And one number down, car number 70, Mitchell Collins in the Suns Member Speed Rumpel Furniture Pontiac. Next row down, sees car number 29, Zachary Fitzwater in the Hardy's Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside Johnny, he'll be alongside Johnny Gardner, two time winner season, including the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Next row down, sees Rob Evans in number 12, and number 15, it is Jackson Haywood. The winner of the, winner of the season of the first race at Pocono. Next row sees Dylan Young has with our third in car camera in this event here today. He'll be alongside Seth Cullen, car 52. Both drivers have yet to win this season, believe it or not. <clears throat> Next row sees car 43, Mike Becker in the STP Pontiac. And number five, it is Phil Parker in the Levi Garrett Chevrolet. Next row sees car 21, Cat Batson in the Pure Leader Ford. She'll be alongside car number 90, Jesse Turner. Cat was one of the season at Martinsville. Next row sees William Brock in car number 4. And car number 30, it is Jay Jefferson who won the Brickyard 400 this season. Next row sees another two time winner, Quentin Moore in the Quaker State Buick, car number 26. He'll be alongside Matt Haas in car number 8, the Miller American Buick. Next row sees number 14, Kyle Langland, and number 50, Gene Stamper, another two time winner including the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, and also the winner of the season at Atlanta. Next row sees Dylan Poteet in the second Miller American Colors, the red and white machine. He'll be alongside car number 44. It is Ryan George. Next row sees number 55, Henry Samper, and number 6, Paul Minnick, who won a second stop at Talladega. Next row sees two of the heavy hitters this season, Levi McIntyre, the points leader, coming in at number 17, tied Chevrolet, despite and having not won a race yet this season. He'll be alongside car number twenty. He'll be alongside car number twenty-five, Joshua Osborne, who won a season at Riverside. And both of them got quite a ways back to work from too. Next row sees Daniel Bouchard in seventy-five, and number eighty-three, Emmanuel Hartnett. Next row sees number eighty-eight, Nathan Orman, and number thirteen, it is Austin Colano. Next row sees number seven, Wes McCoy, and number 51, Alex Miller. And starting shotgun will be, will be the Daytona 500 champion, Zach Winkle, in car number one. So the field lined up here today at Bristol Motor Speedway here, as we mentioned. All out racing excitement. We got bumper to bumper action. We got door handle to door handle racing, and, and maybe a few crashes or two. Uh, but we'll, uh, after all, this is Bristol. You can't have Bristol without crashes, it seems like. So, so this the so short track racing Saturday. So short track racing at night at night time. We'll see what happens here today, as the fields get about to get the command to fire the engines for the Bush Five Hundred. So that is the. 
command they gave them, gave them the fire the engine as we as the field comes off of the as the field is about to roll off of pit road, being led by Jessica Shelton and my and uh, my and Matt McIntyre. Keith Batson also going for the All Star for or, or not for the All Star, but Keith Batson going for the Bristol Sweep this season as well too. Field making their way off um, off a of pit road in the turn number three. Laps here at Bristol do not take very long. About 15 seconds a lap here at this racetrack at Bristol Motor Speedway. Pulse speed for this event, 125 miles per hour. As the field comes off turn number four, green flag flies and the Bush 500 is on. Cole Deaver looking to the low side, trying to get past Shelton, and he will do so. Cole Deaver leads the first lap of this race here. Shelton trying to fight back on the outside of the track, but no dice. And now Zach Rogers takes the top spot now in the number 33 machine. Keith Batson already up to second, the third position, maybe now, now second. And look at the 94 car, Ryan Barber going, the man who's last place in the boys coming in. He had a superb run going at Michigan, the last race of the tour, until the... until. A late race caution flag took him out of the race. But they apparently got the whatever performance they've lost in that number 94 car for most of the season has been found. And the yellow flag's flown for the first time today. And looks like it's number 20. It looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like it's number 83, Emmanuel Hartnett, that has spun. Yep, I see a hood buckle on that number 83 wins Kmart Oldsmobile. So first caution of the day flies on the third lap, and he and they and he was right behind the three wide battle between Alex Miller, Paul Minnick, and Gene Sanford. Those two, Minnick and Sanford, got together, and then Minnick spun, and then that sent the '83 car of um, Hartnett around and heads up driving there by Joshua Osborne to keep from hitting the six car of Paul Minnick. That was a close call for the Folgers team as the uh, as Hartnett. All he got was a hood buckle, and uh, and I think I don't think the six car got much damage either, except for maybe the back end. Looks like on the on the strobe light Ford, there there it is riding around the track. We'll see if from this view, well probably not. Yeah, he does have a little bit of a back end buckle. Looks like on the number six strobe light Ford. So pace car lights are turned off here. We'll restart on lap number nine in this racetrack, this race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. So already yellow flags flown for the first time here today. Zach Rogers is the leader. Second position is Keith Batson. Ryan Brommer runs in third position right now. Fourth is Kev Shear. Sixth, fifth position belongs to Zachary Fitzwater. Cole Deaver, who led the first lap, ends up is now running sixth. Rob Evans seventh. Jessica Shelton eighth. Ninth right now is Dylan Young. And 10th position belonging to Mike Becker. Matt McIntyre, the outside pole sitter, has dropped to 11th position. So the field um, rolls off turn number, come, about to come through turn number four. Pace car ducks off on the pit road as we as the green flag flies. As the green flag flies, and we're back underway on lap number nine here at Bristol. Zachary Fitzwater already looking low on Kev Shearer at number 71, and that moves Shearer up the track. Bats in the meantime look low on Zach Rogers for the lead. No dice, and Rogers, who's going for his, his I think, third win in a row. He won it. He's won the season at Dover, Watkins Glen, and the last race at Michigan. And Rogers trying to go for three in a row here in this season, and moving, and he's already moving up nicely in the points. So since, since the about middle of the season, Rogers has been one of the quickest cars out there. As we watch Keith Batson in the twenty-eight car right now, his Brommer knows in the second position, and Fitzwater up to third. Battle going on between Cole Deaver and Jessica Shelton. That is for sixth place, and Shelton's got it for the moment.
off the turn they come here. It says the field's lined up basically single file for the, for the most part here. Battle going on to see right there. Look at Quentin Moore in the 26 car. He looked like he got past Charles Sanford. Now looks low on the 14 car of Kyle Langland. Langland in 14, Moore in 26, Sanford in 24, and join the and the four car joining in. That's William Brock in the Kodak Oldsmobile as they come off turn number two and and Brock moves Sanford up the track and and William Brock goes into position. That is for. I believe 15th position, more up ahead in 14th at the moment as they come off turn number, going into turn number one. Kyle Matthews trying to move his way up the up uh, through the field here as you see Daniel Bouchard in 75 now moves low on the track a pair of Pontiacs. One sponsored by Valvoline, the other sponsored by Melly Yellow. And and speaking of uh, mover uppers in the field here, the points leader Levi McIntyre. Moving his way up through the field nicely in that, in that tied Chevrolet. Levi started back, I think, about in 34th, I think 33rd, 34th position, something like that. And he is and he has moved up to now the 19th. 17 car awfully fast here at, at Bristol today, or tonight, I should say. Matt McIntyre means and um, Rob Evans meantime they have both are both sliding back through the field here as they both got caught up on the track and so has Ryan Brommer in ninety four. Meantime and yellow flags flown for the second time here. Zach Rogers continues to lead this race. And it's Johnny Gardner in car number eleven who spun, I think, along with Jay Jefferson in the thirty. So second caution of the day coming out at the, at the completion of lap number 19. Take a look again as to what happened here. Gardner taps the back of the 88 car, Nathan Ormond, and then gets right into Jefferson's car. Jefferson just a victim of circumstance. And I think uh, Nathan Hudson maybe in the 47 got a piece of it too. And it's amazing why some of the cars on the inside lane did not come back and hit the 30 of Jefferson. See if anybody did. No, there was there were the last car by us, Austin Colano, and he um So Other than maybe Hudson, I don't uh, other than maybe Hudson, that was a driving job if I've seen if I've seen if I've seen if I if the whole rest of the field. So so far, two cautions and hardly any car damaged here. Lights are out on a pace car as the as the um, field is about to get the restart on lap number 25. We will have 50 laps. We will have 50 laps remaining in this race here. Uh, actually, 51. Excuse me. Zach Rogers continues to lead. He's dominated this race so far. Zachary Fitzwater second. Fitzwater usually runs well here at Bristol for some reason. He's a former winner here in the night race. Keith Batson going for the Bristol sweep. He runs third position at the moment. Jessica Shelton fourth and Cole Deaver in fifth with Mike Becker sixth. Kev Shear 7th, 8th is Cat Benson, ninth Ryan Bomber, and Dylan Young right now runs in 10th position. As the green flag about the fly, we're back underway on lap number 25 here at Bristol. And what a start Zach Rogers got right there. As you see the Fitzwater and Batson and Shelton trying to close up a little bit. Batson looks low, Shelton looks lower on the track. Cole Deaver and Mike Becker, you got the three and the 43 right there together. That's for position, that is for fifth. And Becker pours the power of that Richard Petty colored Pontiac and he um, gets by the Earnhardt cars and three wide back there. I don't like the look of this right there. And oh, okay, that's his turn. And there went, there went Langland and Quentin Moore and oh, a bad crash in turn number three. Osborne and Alex Miller looked like both went up, went up hot, went up the, went up the track and into the fence. And that causes caution number three to fly here at Bristol. Well, I knew they got. Three wide, and come off turn number two. I knew that was going to be a disaster right there. And it involved Quentin Moore 
it involved actually involved um, at first it involved, involves Dylan Young, Ryan Bomber, and Cat Batson going up the track. Moore actually tapped Batson's car in the twenty one. That sent those two spinning right there. Yeah, watch what happens right here. Yeah, and actually it was actually it was Hudson that went up in the in the fence right there. There's the um, we saw Alex Miller, Osborne involved. There's um, Phil Parker in the background. He's involved. Austin Colano was involved. Jesse Turner was involved. I think Jefferson. I think well was involved, and so is Colano. And Colano uh, about toward the front end of, of Jefferson's car. I think he maybe he may not be happy with uh, Jay Jefferson about something. So, third caution of the day flies here at Bristol Motor Speedway. So, lap number 32 is where we're on right now. 33 is where, where the restart's going to be at here. Three caution flags have waved so far here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And the only car out of the race is Emmanuel Harton at average speed so far 63.6 miles per hour. Cole Deaver holds the fast sub race so far at 127.208. So that is faster what they qualified. You saw the top 10 running order here. Led by Zach Rogers. He leads the race here with, with Fitzwater second, Shelton third, fourth is Keith Batson, and fifth is Mike Becker. Green flag back out. We're back underway here at Bristol. The choo-choo train leads off in the turn number three here as they go through, as they come off the fourth turn. Zach Rogers leads, but here comes Fitzwater to the low side. Rogers says, no, uh, I'm the one who's supposed to be up in the front leading this race. And here comes Shelton to the low side. She's going for second place. And she's got Keith Batson right there behind her in car 28. Mike Becker's up there in the 43 car. Here comes Becker down low on Batson. On board with Keith Batson in car 28. Batson runs third up ahead as you see Shelton in second and Rogers leading this race. And there you see a perfect example of how demanding Bristol is. You you barely you can't even take a breath there on that on that on that straightaway. Batson had to back up a bit as you saw um, Becker go by, and Dylan Young caught up in the high side. In fact, both Dylans are Young and Poteet in the twenty two the two and twenty two machines. Cat Batson went by. Now Matt McIntyre and William Brock here comes. The two Buckeyes, Levi McIntyre and um, 42 of um, of Kyle Matthews. And that moves McIntyre now up to 11th position. Matthews trying for 11th. He's in 12th at the moment. As they come off turn number four, Kyle Matthews now takes 11th position away, but Levi coming back on him on the outside of the track, and then finally tucks back in. Now looks low of the track as they come off turn number two, and now Levi goes tries to take 11th back here as he's got the bush from William Brock in car number four. In the meantime, Keith Batson has been moved up the track, and now you got a battle for the lead between Zach Rogers and Jessica Shelton. Remember, it was those two who battled out for the win at Watkins Glen, with Rogers taking the victory in that race here, and Shelton. Her only win, as we mentioned, came at Richmond back way back on the third race of the season, and she is looking for that second victory of the season. She's won at Bristol before, but it was in the day race where she won. She's never won a night race here, but she hopes to do so here today. As we are past halfway home, this will be completion lap number 44. We have 31 to go. But Zach Rogers got one strong car, and I'll tell you, Mike Becker, he might be in this mix too. He's up to third position now. 
Cap Sheriff the fourth and Cole Deaver right now runs in fifth. Deaver right now currently sits number two in the points, I think, coming into this event. Behind Levi McIntyre. As you see, Deaver now looks on Sheriff for fourth place as they come off turn number four and move the Dale Earnhardt cars up to the up to up another position. Fitzwater runs 6th, 7th is Cat Batson, Matt McIntyre 8th, Keith Batson 9th, and Ryan Brommer, well, just now lost 10th position to uh, Levi McIntyre, and now Kyle Matthews tries to close up on Brommer's car. Brommer, meantime, trying to get back at the Tide, at the tide Ride. In the meantime, capture has gotten back by Cole Deaver, but Cole says, Nuh uh, I had you pass, and I'm going to pass you back. So Deaver floors the throw on that GM Goodrun Chevrolet and now pulls back up up the, up the another position. Meantime, that's the battle for the lead here. Rogers in 33, Shelton in the 9. Buick versus Ford. 25 laps remaining here at Bristol. Shelton looks slow. Roger says no. 24 to go. Save the margin is this time by between the leaders. Here was 14 hours the last time by. And it's close up to 13 hertz of a second here. And in fact, the top four cars have by less than a second. And Shelton now looks low on Rogers for the lead. And and go and up to the front goes the Bill Elliott colors. As Jessica Shelton takes the lead. And she leads her first side. But here comes Rogers that back down low of the track. And whoa! Deaver almost lost it. He got right into Mike Becker. Come off turn number four. And Deaver. Keeps fourth for the moment, though, but he's got about three cars behind him now. In the meantime, we still got going on for the lead here. Shelton ha now has it. Now the shoe's on the other foot now. Zach Rogers now is the one chasing Shelton. And somebody's uh, up, was right up ahead, looks like. And that was the one of Zach Winkle who crashed, and that brings out another caution flag. Whoa, and, Zach, and Zachary Fitzwater just about got Zach Rogers for second place. So caution number four flies here on lap number 56. And there you see the um, cause of the yellow flag here. Zach Winkle's at the 31st position right there when, hit, when this crash happened. He g just got into the 27 car of R.J. Bishop and then down and then comes down on the 22 of Dylan Poteet. Oh, and, it, and you don't have much time though when you go right toward the inside wall at Bristol that separates the racetrack from Pitt Road. <sighs> So Winkle spins the car. Now watch how close, and you're going to see in a minute how close the leaders come. There's see Shelton and um, Rogers already down low. They're like trying to find a way to avoid the number one car. And he comes, and Winkle comes back down the racetrack here. Shelton and Rogers goes back up the track here. Watch Fitzwater though. He almost. He got Mike Becker in the last second, but he almost, by about a car and a half, just missed getting Zach Rogers for second place. So that was quite a charge for the 29 team. But the net result is that Rod is that uh, Fitzwater stays in third position now. It's the pace card itself on the pit road again. We'll have lap, We'll have. We'll have. Um, I believe 13 laps remaining in this race here when this green when the green flag falls. No, 14 laps to go, excuse me, as, the, as, as 61 have been completed and and of the 75 scheduled distance. And here comes Rogers. He's got a good start on Shelton. They're back bumper to bumper again. 
And here comes Rogers for the lead. And he's got it. Zach Rogers, car 33, back up front here. Shelton to second place here. Jess says, I'm not giving up, though. She looks low. She looks high on the race track here. Now Mike Becker gets into it. Here comes number 29, Bitswater. You get up in that high side of Bristol, though, you're screwed pretty much because until you find a car, until you find the inside lane. And that's the way and that's the way this track is at Bristol Motor Speedway here. And we're now down to almost 10 to go. This time by completes that number 65. Now does Mike Becker have anything for Zach Rogers? Rogers has led the most laps so far in this race. Fitzwater up to third. Sheeran fourth. Batson, Cat Batson, that is, is up the fifth spot now. In the meantime, Kyle Matthews trying to pick up a couple, a couple of more spots here as he gets by Shelton. I'll go, I'll get spot, tries to get by Keith Batson, and he will do so. And now comes Dylan Young, Cole Deaver, Charles Sanford in the 24 car, Levi McIntyre, and who's that behind him? Rob Evans in the 12 car. Meantime, the battle for the lead about to about to develop here as they come off turn number as they go into turn number three. Off turn number four. Becker is right there. He's in second position. Kev Shear up the third position. He might possibly I don't know if he can be in the cat or not. Nope. Here comes Fitzworth to the low side. <coughs> off turn number four. That completes lap number seventy. Five laps remaining. Mike Becker looking for his first victory of the season here. Rogers looking for his fourth. And here comes Becker off to number four. He looks low. Rogers says no. Four laps remaining. And here comes Mike Becker for the lead. Car 43 takes some Richard Penny goes to the top spot. Here comes Becker. I should say Rogers to the low side. He wants to get back in that 43 machine now. Three laps remaining. Rogers looks low as they come up turn number two in the turn number three now. And Zach Rogers gets the lead back. Here comes Fitzwater for second place. Ryan Becker back to the bumper of Rogers' car. Two to go, a lap and a half now. Here comes Becker to the left side of Rogers. Here they come to the third and fourth turns now. Becker takes the lead back. Right flag is out. And here comes Fitzwater. Fitzwater for, the, for second place. He's got. He's got Rogers. Now does Fitzwater get Becker? In the turn number three, they come. Fitzwater closes up. He comes up turn number four. Comes to the line. Short at the line. Mike Becker wins at Bristol. Wow. What a finish to the night race at Bristol. Mike Becker takes the Richard Petty cars to victory lane. At Bristol Motor Speedway, Zachary Fitzwater comes home second. What a uh, finish those final five or six laps in the race. We said it was all out racing and excitement there at the first of the show at the top of the show though, and we were not kidding on that one. That was quite a battle for the win here. Mike Becker wins it, averaging 79.391. Zachary Fitzwater second, Cat Batson finishes third, Zach Rogers dropped the fourth. Matt, McIn Matt McIntyre comes on fifth, Kyle Matthews moved up to sixth place in the final, in the final running order. Um, Cab Shear was seventh, Cole Deaver eighth, Dylan Young ninth, and Levi McIntyre finishes in tenth position. What a finish, what a race that was here. In Bristol for the win. That was that was quite a sunshine. I thought that for a second Bitswater might have had something through turns one and two though on um, on Becker. And I tell you, if that would have been the case though, they would, they would have had a side by side battle for the win. That coming up, coming off that last corner, that would have been craziness here. 
And who says short track racing is not exciting at all? Who says that? When, it, when you get to Bristol, you're almost guaranteed a good show. Rest of the finishing order for you here. Rob Evans was 11th. Charles Amber 12th. Keith Batson 13th. 14th will go to um, William Brock. Then Joshua Osborne, 15th. Jay Jefferson, Mitchell Collins. Jessica Shelton dropped to 18th after leading on the last three starts, sadly for her. Her uh, Henry Sanford, 19th. And Jesse Turner comes home in 20th. Rest of the finishing order for you here today. Um, Nathan Orman was 21st. Ryan Barner, who had a strong showing in the first in the first of this race, so he ends up 22nd. Seth Cole, Quentin Moore, Johnny Gardner, Jackson Haywood. Kyle Langland, Dylan Poteet, Gene Samper, and Nathan Hudson, the top 30. The rest of the finishing order for you here, Wes McCoy, Zach, uh, Ryan George, uh, Paul Minnick, R.J. Bishop, Matt Haas, Austin Colano, Alex Miller, Phil Parker, uh, Zach Winkle out of the race set in 39th, Daniel Bouchard 40th, and Emmanuel Hartnett also out of the race in 41st. So that will do it at Bristol Motor Speedway here at, at home of the Bush 500, and congratulations again to Mike Becker as he takes the Richard Petty Killers to victory lane at Bristol Motor Speedway here in a, in a tremendous finish at the race here at March of point one seven six of the finish line. I tell you what, if there, if there had been maybe another lap or two, Fitzwater might have had him. That was a he was coming on on that last lap of that race. Nice. Um, if you, like what, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the, to the Inner Search Sports, Sports and Gaming channel on YouTube, and also also like the page on Facebook as well. We got everything on this, we got everything on this YouTube channel. We got in our races, we got gaming videos, whatever the person of the Inner Search Sports Gold is our first channel, and we also got some in our online stuff as well. And uh, on this on this channel, if you like, <clears throat> you know, be sure to check out Seth's Duracell Cup Series. I guarantee his races are all, I guarantee his races are a whole lot more exciting than what I have to offer too. So be sure to check that series out as well. And also become a part of it too, as well. As well. So that will do it today at Bristol Motor Speedway. For now, this is James Qualls. This has been a production of the NCRA. Off on racing at its best. We will see you at Darlington for the Mountain Dew Southern 500.